Well, um, in general, battery energy storage is a technology that can be considered as a pillar for the energy uh, system transformation. And um, the capacities year by year of this type of technology have been rising since a couple of years, and it will also uh, grow faster in the future. Um, and if you look at this type of technology, there are a lot of studies available that examinated the technical, economic, and ecological performance of those technologies. Um, but they do not consider the social sphere, in particular, the acceptability. Um, why is that aspect important? Because the role of citizens is changing in the energy system transformation. And there is an additional research uh, demand to look at the social implications for such new technologies as battery storage. In light of this, we decided to look at the social acceptability of new storage technologies um, because we perceive it as, not we, literature, uh, perceive it as an as a important point to allow a smooth rollout of storage technologies uh, in order to understand what potential pitfalls could be there in regards of acceptability. So more specifically, we decided to look at storage units that are not based inside a building, but outside of an existing building. So not, not like a kind of small uh, storage unit in the basement of a house connected to a photovoltaic unit. So we're speaking here about uh, megawatt scale batteries um, that have an own building, are situated in a container, for example. We carried out an online questionnaire um, where we collected the public on battery storage. Uh, it was carried out in 2020. We used a tool cost, uh, called um, uh, SOCI panel um, and in total we included 260 participants. We used the so-called mixed uh, factorial design and uh, there we wanted to know detail how the design and the siting of the battery storage units can influence acceptability. Um, so in detail, how did we proceed there? Participants filled out a value questionnaire and then uh, were just asked in a general broader context um, to indicate their support for the energy transition and uh, to test their knowledge about energy storage in general. Um, then we divided the groups into three different parties and each of these groups was then shown an image of battery storage in an industrial scale, urban scale or non-image at all. And then we wanted to see how the different participants um, evaluated the battery storage um, using defined criteria such as usefulness, innovativeness, environmental friendliness and to let them link that to the pictures that we showed them. The first goal of our study was to investigate um, of this um, of of if this images that we presented to the participants uh, really influences the evaluation of the storage systems, and the findings indicate that um, the the participants who saw the image of a battery storage in urban design thought that this technology would be more positive in terms of environmentally friendliness, innovativeness, and aestheticness uh, compared to the industrial uh, design, which was already a finding. The second goal of the study was to highlight the importance um, between different locations for siting battery storage. Um, and there we saw that in line with our expectations that the accept uh, acceptability of battery storage was really dependent on the selected location. And here we separate it into industrial areas, rural areas, residential areas, and own neighborhood. Um, in line with that, also the design of the battery storage was uh, uh, clearly a decisive um, factor. And we could see that there is a clear preference for industrial areas over the other locations, in particular the one in the own neighborhood. And I think that's quite well known, this um, kind of um, um, aspect. The third goal of the study was to explore uh, what kind of predictors 
um, are relevant if we talk about acceptability to, to different locations. Uh, such predictors are, for example, the effect, mean attitudes, the knowledge about battery storage, etc. And there we saw that the effect was one of the strongest predictors across all the studies that we, uh, sorry, all the locations that we studied. Um, what does that mean, effect? Um, there was a question which was as follows. Imagine a battery storage plant was built in the vicinity of your home. Which emotions does that elicit in you? And then people had to rank, and that was one of the strongest ones. Um, to come to our last goal, we wanted to know if there are certain mitigation measures available that could help to increase acceptability in particular residential areas, because that was considered most critically in the study. Um, and there we, we asked, for example, the participants to rate environmental measures um, or uh, measures relating to participation, compensation, or the design of the energy storage unit. And um, yeah, and we can say here that all these mitigation measures were rated as quite high. Interesting, interestingly, only providing financial compensation was not rated as high as we thought. Yes, so um, in particular, you can say that three uh, of the environmental mitigation measures were ranked the highest. That was ensuring proper recyc recyclability, um, environmental friendliness, and um, to, to consider social standards were um, rated the highest. That is a strong question, and we could use an own pitch to talk about that. Um, but you can say that uh, technology acceptance research, if you talk about acceptance, um, there are several terms available, such as acceptance, acceptability, attitude, support, etc. When we try to study the citizens' um, attitudes, perceivements towards technology, and um, well, you can define acceptability as an attitude toward a technology before it is implemented, uh, whilst acceptance is defined as attitudes toward a technology after its implementation. And that's what we are looking at. Um, so what is quite interesting is that uh, you can separate between global and local acceptability. And um, also in previous studies, we saw that most people approve new technologies, energy technologies in general, like for the energy turnover, um, the, the energy transition in Germany. But if the projects are implemented uh, nearby their living space, then you start to see resistance in the population. And this discrepancy between general and local acceptance is called NIMBY, not in my backyard, in the past at least, but it was also um, criticized a lot because it is too simplistic. Um, you have to consider that acceptability of energy storage technologies is influenced by multi um, multiple factors. And um, there are this, this importance of the psychological and contextual factors that uh, have to be considered here are very well um, considered in other studies. And we, we try to do that in our study as best as possible. We saw that in situations where you cannot avoid to build a battery storage unit within a residential area, um, meaning in a community somewhere, then you should uh, pay attention to minimize the visual intrusion um, of the energy storage unit by ad adopting the design, meaning the exterior uh, of the infrastructure towards its, its surroundings, meaning, for example, you try to hide it somehow to disguise it. Um, the strategy might come with higher costs, but it might minimize the additional cost that you might have uh, due to project delays in face of the resistance uh, and protests from local population. Um, what we also saw is that the more innovative a technology is, the lower acceptability is because people do not know nothing about the technology or at least only um, a small proportion of the technology. So. Um, what helps here is to um, provide um, 
let's say, information campaigns to inform the population. And what we also saw is that if you would have a kind of labeling, common labeling like a carbon footprint or uh, something like a um, um, social fairness indicator related to your battery storage unit, that would also uh, have positive effects on acceptability. One of the main problems in our studies, or limitations, let's call it like that, is that we have a rather low sample uh, with the 260 uh, participants. So uh, it's not very representative towards the German population. And um, it would be good to have a higher sample size, meaning to repeat the study with a slightly different setting um, towards a bigger uh, group of participants. Um, also, what we would like to do uh, is to check the acceptability of new energy storage technologies over different timescales. As I said before, um, technology acceptance can be settled before the introduction of a project or after um, the planning of a project. So it would be nice to see how acceptability looks like before you implement a project. And if the, the attitude of the citizens changes after the implementation of the project to see if there is a big difference and uh, maybe to also look at different measurements, how the implementation of the project was supported over time. But that is uh, would be a wish. Let's see if we will be able to fulfill that. <laughs>